So you'll need just a few things to make the JMS solution. And the only thing you'll have to go buy, I think, will probably be the cheesecloth bags. And this is where you put your uh, potatoes and your leaf mold. So the next thing you need is potatoes and leaf mold. See if we can go figure that out. Uh, there's my garden out past the truck. So you want to try to get your leaf mold from somewhere close. Uh oh, I hear my dog. Oh no. <laughs> Anyhow, you find some old rotten leaves and a good helper. Then you dig down into the leaves and you want to get down to the humus. All this right here, if I can get it in frame, is leaf mold. This dark brown, rich organic matter. And a lot of times you see white in there, and that is the uh, mycorrhizae. And it's good to have that in there as well. But just collect a handful or so and put it in your cheesecloth bag. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Nope. If you fail, usually it's because you didn't try hard enough. <clears throat> okay. That should do it. Let's dig around. Like some more leaves in there. Okay. We'll call that good. And now all the helpers are coming out. Oh boy. Right. On to potatoes. And the next thing you need will be two potatoes. And the way we do our potatoes. To cheat, take them and wrap them in a paper towel. Stick them in a glass dish. And then fill the dish about halfway with water. And then microwave it for six minutes or so until they're soft. See you in a second. In a five gallon bucket. I probably didn't mention that, but you'll need a five gallon bucket. Now, about three quarters full of water. Uh oh, please Harry. I've already filled up the bucket and everything else. Mm. Oh, and a stick, you'll... You'll need a stick too. Almost. Only a fool would reach in there and try to grab that right now. So while the potatoes are cooling, I wanted to go over a few things. If you didn't notice from outside, it's uh, yeah, it's just after Thanksgiving. So now is not the time to be doing this, but somebody wanted to know how, so I'm trying to show you. I don't know if it'll work or not. It should, but I'm not sure. Um, the time to do this is right before you plant, maybe a week or two. And then that way the, the microorganisms have a chance to, to prepare the soil for the seed. Because when the seed sprouts, that's the most important part of uh, you know the seed or the plant, knowing how much nutrients there is available to it and how fast it can grow or so I've been told I don't know if plants are that smart or not but hmm anything else oh yeah you dilute this eight to one and don't get afraid or be scared of screwing the the ratio up you're not gonna hurt it um, some people ask about the sea salt I don't put sea salt in it to me that seems like the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Uh, salt usually kills things, but for me, it's a price thing. I don't want to spend the extra money on sea salt when this will do the job just fine. All right, maybe the potatoes are cooled off enough now to go touch. Let's go check.
last thing you do, stick it in the water. And ideally this should be done outside at the same temperature in the spring, but you know, just for the lesson in how it's done, I guess. That's all I have to do for now, because you can't stick it outside, it'll freeze. <laughs> I forgot how to tie a knot. I'm gonna try to keep it off the bottom, but so now the fun part, you get to knead all of this stuff into the water. So all your potatoes just squish up and the cheesecloth filters it out. Um, some people use a old sock instead of cheesecloth. I've never tried it because I'd rather just spend the four or five dollars on cheesecloth bags. But you'll need it up, it'll get kind of cloudy. And that's just the starch getting into the water, and that's what the microorganisms feed on. And then just take your leaf mold and do the same thing. It'll turn everything brown. And I don't know, I hope the microorganisms haven't went dormant in the cold. But we won't know for a couple days. We have to let this sit for well, two days. But, that's it. I just sit and wait. So it's been two days, and this is what you're looking for. See the foam? That means they've multiplied, and you want to catch it at its peak foaminess. That means the, the microbes have colonized, and if the bubbles start to, to wane or dissipate, that means that they're starting to die off. So... Usually two days, this this looks really good. It's ready to use. So yeah, outside, I guess. So here it is without the bags in it. You can see the foam better now. Um, to use it, you just dilute one part of the solution to eight parts of water. And you can do this. I do it by eyeballing. I just put like an inch in a water can and fill another eight inches on top of that. And then you just water around the roots really well. Or you can use it full strength if you're uh, working with fallow ground or ground that hasn't been planted for a while. That'll help loosen up the soil and, and get it ready for planting. But right now I have some silver berries that I've planted as a screen. I'll go put it on them because it's the only thing that's, you know, it's going to be growing this time of year. So I hope it helps somebody. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them. See ya.